So see this right here? How I'm breathing right now, I'm out of breath. I'm uncomfortable. This is where you need to get. This is what you need to feel. The reason you're not fit is because you don't feel this enough. You don't push yourself to this point enough. You come to the field and you hit dead balls and you have a nice relaxing time and then you show up on game day and wonder why you get tired so easily. It's because you don't make yourself tired enough. Okay, so get yourself to this point. This is the first step of getting into great shape. If you don't know about me, I used to be a huge underachiever, but through obsessive self-improvement, I found my success. Earned a college scholarship, played for my national futsal team, a YouTube channel with over 100 million views. I've helped players worldwide, and I'd love to help you improve faster and achieve more. Yes, you want to increase your stamina, but you want to increase your stamina specifically for soccer. That's why going for jogs isn't a good idea. You want to do realistic training that resembles the work you actually put in during matches. During the game, you'll be doing lots of sprinting, changes of direction, and recovery jogging. Here are a few drills you can use to get started. You don't have to sprint at 100%, you could go about 80 or 90% unless you need to go at 100 to get yourself out of your comfort zone. Remember, if it's easy, it doesn't make you better. If you're not breathing hard, getting to that point where you feel like you need to give up, it's not going to make you fit. The most important thing is that you keep pushing yourself when you start to get tired. It's much better to go slow than to stop and give up. Next, let's talk about breathing. See, I'm out of breath. Let me get some sunlight here. Okay, so when you're out of breath, it's so important. Get good oxygen, good air in through your nose. Big deep breath and bad carbon dioxide out of your mouth.
okay? And when you're really tired, you wanna breathe like that and you'll be able to recover much quicker, okay? So have those deep breaths. Let's say you went for a sprint, now it's time to recover. You have a little second, the ball's out of play, or you're just walking or jogging slowly. Focus on that breathing. And the better shape you get into, the less time it will take for you to recover, to get back to normal so you can sprint again. Okay, so some things do not do. Do not hold your breath. A lot of players are holding their breath. They're like, <laughs> okay, that is gonna make you pass out. It's gonna make your legs super heavy, your body super heavy because you're not getting enough oxygen into your lungs, not enough oxygen to your muscles. So you have to breathe. I know you might seem like you sound ridiculous. You might feel like you sound ridiculous, but you have to do it and it's so good, it feels good. Okay, so if you want to have better stamina, you want to recover quicker, focus on your breathing. It's so important. Without even knowing you, I already know you are in better shape than you actually think. The problem is your mind gives up before your body does. It's so important when you get tired, you talk to yourself positively and tell yourself to keep going. Say things like, I can do this. I'm a beast, this is too easy, and keep pushing forward through the pain and fatigue. You'll be amazed at how much further you can go just by changing the way you think. Your body listens to your mind. Thinking fit is just as important as being fit. The things you put into your body have a direct impact on your stamina and the most important is water. Make sure you're drinking tons of water. You always want to be hydrated. And how do you know if you're hydrated? Your pee is clear. If it's yellow, you're dehydrated. And if you're dehydrated, you're going to get tired much quicker than you probably should. So make sure you're drinking tons of fresh, clean water. Now here are just a few things that I'm eating right now and I just want you guys to get in the habit of eating real food. drinking real juice so if you're drinking juice you don't want to drink juice from concentrate that's just pure sugar drink real juice eat real food so get away from eating things from boxes and cans you want fresh fruit you want nuts and seeds dried fruits lots of vegetables some healthy oils lots of green leafy vegetables so important tons and tons of those in your diet is a very good idea just to be healthy as well as fit all different types of vegetables Pickles, I'm eating some nori, some seaweed, and here are some beans. And I just want you guys to think about eating real food because it's gonna make you healthier, but it's also going to make you fitter. You're gonna have more energy, you're gonna feel better. You're not gonna feel so sluggish and lazy. Now, if you really want to get into better shape and you want to be able to run further, you need to think about getting down to your ideal body weight because if you are carrying excess fat, you are going to be slower. Your body is doing more work than it needs to be doing. So you wanna get down to your ideal body weight or your body fat percentage, which is about 10%. And in the past, I made a video. I'll put a link to that video right now. It's called How to Get Ripped. And in that video, I'll teach you how to get lean so you can run further and you'll also be able to run faster because you're leaner, you're carrying less weight and you'll be able to produce the same amount of power with less fat on you. If you like this content, check out the Soccer Success Planner. You can download it for free. There's a link in the description below. And for advanced training, check out the online Soccer Academy.